You know what Ganon's tower reminds me of? My huge pe- Welcome back from our account of time. No, I didn't come over here just for that joke. I forgot. There was a skull drill over here. Could've got this when we first got the hookshot and I never came over. Got it. So now I got it. There's also this over here, which I should've got as soon as we were deciding to leave Ganon's castle and go collectible hunting. It's the last of those gigantic rocks. And that's the last time we'll ever see that. It's the Great Fairy's Fountain. That I assume was the same one that was here when Hyrule Castle was here. You remember me, Fairy? Actually, I don't think this is the same one. I think the background is, is different, so it's probably a different fountain. Which is weird. But maybe I'm, maybe I'm remembering... Maybe I'm remembering wrong and the background's the same. Or she just redecorated, I don't know. Welcome, Link. I'm the Great Fairy of Courage. I'm going to enhance your defensive power. Receive it now. <laughs> Wasn't the one who was here before the Great Fairy power? So I guess it is a different Great Fairy. Your defensive power is enhanced! It just said that, Great Fairy. Damage is inflicted by enemies. Damage inflicted by enemies will be reduced by half. As if the, this game wasn't easy enough already. When battle comes, when battle has made you wary, please come back to see me. I'm tired of reading. I can't read today. Whose bones are these? Can't be my bones. Can't be your bones. Must be bones, bones. Bone, bone, bone. Here's a sconchula. Here's a piece of heart. I actually do remember where it is, and we could have gotten a long time ago. I just kept forgetting this guy. Hang on, let me change shields, because apparently this shield can't... No, I get the hammer out. Whatever. This guy. All right, you win. In return for sparing me, I will sell you a piece of heart. One piece, ten rupees it is. Ten rupees? Is that cheap? I thought it was like 200 rupees and then you can talk them down to like 50. Yeah, there we go. Piece of heart, 10 rupees. I can't believe it's that cheap. I think in the 3DS version, I actually ended up glitching that out. Where I turned them down because I didn't have enough rupees. Because I guess they made it more expensive in the 3DS version or something. Let's check out this hole while I talk. And then I turned him down and he just never respawned. It's a grotto. Blue ruby. Blue stoopy! Just noticed how pretty Epona is in this game. Like, you know, model quality aside, like... Details are nice. She's a pretty horse. That's actually something I've been wanting to talk about. Is models. Character modeling. Because that's something I've actually tried to get into myself. And it was always intimidated because it's like, oh, well, you know, you look at a model like this and you, you assume, like, oh, every, you know. Yeah, I knew I was messing along back here. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but, you know, it, it seems intimidating because you, you think, like, oh, I, I gotta, you know, high quality models have more faces to them, you know, more polys. And you, and you have to do all that by hand. It's like, actually... I don't know about all software, but at least with, like, Blender, which is free if you want to check that out, it actually has, like, a bunch of tools where you can, you know, it, like, subdivide so there become more edges on it, which help you make things look smoother. Like, you compare the models from this game to the ones in Ocarina of Time 3D, and it's like, whoa, there's so much more detail. I wonder how many, how many more, you know, polygons are to it. But then you actually look at it, in, in, like, in, in, a, in a model viewer, and it's like, it's actually not that more complicated. It's just, you know, 
a cleaner mesh, you know, they they've got better topology, I assume. You know, stuff like that. It's not actually that more much not that much more high poly. It just is made with more advanced technology that can kind of I was gonna say fill in the blanks. That's not really right. Oh, it's on the other side. Not really accurate, but you know what I mean. Like, you know, kinda of do some of the heavy lifting for you. You know, there's the subdivision subdivision surface, I think it's called, which, you know, can make it look even smoother without actually having to model that yourself. You can take like a thin mesh and you know apply a solidify to it to make it thicker and then a bevel to make it you know have rounder edges as bevel does like i want to you know not to like brag like i'm 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 very amateur but you know this i made this sword and you know if you think oh that's a nice looking sword it's pretty cool it wasn't that hard to make you know i could definitely learn some things about topology and, and stuff you know Mo mo modeling the right way and the efficient way. Now, don't kick a pony yet. We're not about to leave. You know, doing things in a way that's more efficient and looks nicer overall. With like, you know, light in regards to how lighting catches it. Oh, we're we're done. So, market. Oh, there's. Oh, maybe I'm missing some around Hyrule Castle. We completed Hyrule Field. That's that's a relief. Death Mountain and Kakariko Village. It's Zora's Domain. Well, I know the one in Zora's Domain. We might as well go get that one. You know, assuming that's the last one. I don't. It doesn't tell you how many you're missing in each area. But yeah, if if if, if you want to get into 3D modeling and you think, oh, you know, it, it, it seems like a lot of hard work. I want to say it's hard work. It's just. It's definitely still a skill, but it's not as hard as it looks, to get at least to get started. There's no warp to Zora's Domain, so I'm just going to have to ride all the way there. But you know what I can do, though? I feel like this would be faster. Or it would at least be more fun than just running in a straight line all the way. i to pick up some rupees on the way there by killing moblins. Yeah, yeah, your hammer's all big and stuff. Just like my huge pee. Why does Link look like he's crouching into the ground? That's not right. That guy wasn't there when it was when I came in here in the day. But interior sculpture are not supposed to. They're not supposed to care about what time of day it is. Okay, so I guess that's just in regards to dungeons. The sculpture that does remind me of one that's on Death Mountain, though. So I have to be sure to go get that one when we're going to get that one. But that's not the one I wanted to get. No, there's one you gotta wait a little... Like, quite a while to get. And it's actually in kind of a interesting spot. You know, I could have sworn there's a sculpture up on this pendant thing, the symbol, like on the back of it. I don't think there ever is one. And if there is, then I'll just have to go and get it. <laughs> Duh. Pierre? Pierre, what are you doing up there? Is there even anything up there? I don't think there's anything up there. Skulltula? Piece of heart? Anything? Nothing? A red rupee. Weird. Remember this rock? When you come over here to blow it up and it's like, Oh, I'm gonna blow up the silver rock! And it teaches you, oh, you can't blow up silver rocks, but here's the fairy anyway. We can lift it and throw it. And we don't have levers knocking us around trying to make us not lift it. Oh, look at that. Or I guess don't look at that, because it's invisible. Is that the second time I've said that? I swear. Skulltula, my favorite! Especially after, what, what, what was it, last episode? The other episode? 
I was going through the Shadow Temple, and just with the worst time with that one room. I always thought this spot was interesting because it's it's so out of the way. You have to think to come back here with the silver gauntlets. Like you you just come, when you come here as an adult, you kind of just go to the ice cabin, you get the iron boots, and then you run up to the water temple. You don't think about there possibly being this cliff up here. Unless you happen to see the cliff, which actually I think I did when I was younger. I saw the cliff and was like, how do I get up there? I have no idea. The hookshot can't reach. There's no target. And there's the sculpture. But yeah, you come along that secret path. I need my hookshot. And hopefully, that finishes off. It does not. Hmm. We are so close to collecting them all, though. I'm gonna make a push to get them all in this episode. Even if the ep episode has to be an... My phone was going off and it distracted me. Even if I have to record for two hours and this episode becomes an hour long, now do it! We're getting them all in this episode. Just want to double check the ice cavern. Yep, got them all. Bye, ice cavern. You know, honestly, I do think the fact that they didn't have time to finish the ice cavern as its own dungeon kind of makes it better. You know, it, it makes it cooler that there's a mini dungeon you do before the water temple to get a key item that you utilize there. You know, can you imagine a world where that became its own dungeon and the Iron Boots was just an item that you got for the water- you know, or for the ice cavern that you just happen to use in the water temple like you do the long shot in, like, Spirit Temple. Although, I guess, I guess that's not- it, it means there's two mini dungeons, but there still would have been one even if the ice cavern became its own dungeon because the bottom of the well, I think, was pretty much always planned to be uh, a mini dungeon you do before doing the Shadow Temple. Aha! I knew there was a grotto here. Fair found. Well, oh. I'm now disappointed. How come the fairy fountain's not frozen? Here's a little spot we can climb up then that we're tall enough to not get swept away by the current here. Aha! There's one I'm missing in this river. Hopefully the last one. I should have pulled out the bow. Never mind, I would have been slow in either case. I guess now that I'm seeing them again, the golden gauntlets don't look bad. But I still prefer how the silver gauntlets add on to Link's appearance. Especially because they mesh well with the, the mirror shield. Oh well. Was that the last one? The river? No! Jeez. Well, here's a grotto. Let me guess. Money. It's a guess! But what about that rock? Ah, yeah! Fountain. There's there's two fairies fountains in Zora's River. Because there's that one and then there's the one in Zora's Domain. How many fairy fountains do you need, Zora's River? Two minutes to get out. Ha. We won't need it. I forgot where I was going. Ooh, shoot. See even 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 when I got turned around, didn't need it. Took like 30 seconds. Stand on the plush carpet while I look up and try to... Yep, there he is. Oh. No! Still not it. Oh, okay, there's, there's one more. That we can get as an adult. And then we have to come back and look for ones I may have missed as a kid. 
So I think there's two that I'm for sure missing as a kid. Also, I just remember that weird room that's over in, like, the eastern part. Let's go check that out. Oh, look. The Song of Time blocks that are here as a kid aren't here as an adult. This makes me think of, like, oh, you open the door of time and then suddenly all the blocks of time disappeared from the world or something. And it makes me think of, like, just pressing the wrong button to stop. Actually, I don't know what it makes me think of, but, you know, something where an event happens and suddenly there are collectibles scattered all across the world because of that, you know, because of lore reasons. Deku scripts, really? Well, let me make sure I got an empty bottle. In case one of them has a potion. I would like to buy a potion. Deku nuts. Go away. Arrows. You go away too. You shut up too. Let me go also use some bombs. You also go away. Why are you even now on Death Mountain? Like, is that really prime real estate for a, a business scrub? I'm not even gonna take the block back. I'm gonna go through the lava. Two hearts. Or two quarter hearts. Because I got double defense. Barely a scratch. Remember this room? You, you probably should, because it was just like a few episodes ago. I have, on a very bored day, Gone through this entire room, cleared out every single rock. Does it get you anything? No. Did it anyway. Oh, it's just a chest. Huge rupee. Just like my huge. Oh, I'm not gonna do that again. It's roll of threes, and I already did it twice. Is anyone gonna laugh the third time? Pretty sure there's also a grotto here. It's kind of obvious. Oh, Song of Storms, maybe. Ah, oh, I was just barely not in the right position to fall as it opened. Oh, a huge rupee. <sighs> but these grottos really aren't exciting when you're not playing a randomizer because the chest is pretty much always rupees and there's nothing to do with rupees in this game. That's weird. Navi's not making noises. But she flies to things. Or at all. Are you okay, Navi? Oh, come on. Why does the ground only appear when I'm, like, on this spot? That's weird. No, Sun Song, you go away. Play this Sun Song to get the other Sun Song to change day to night. Or to, or, or, or to stop, or whatever. Train of thought was a little scrambled. There he is. And that should be... Still not the last one. Dang. There's five missing. I can think of one that I might be missing here. I can't think of any I might have missed in Kakariko. And I can think of one there. So there must be two in the market. Kind of wish this guide had marked them by, you know, map location, not just, you know, like, oh, it's in the it's it's in the fire temple. Like, okay, but what 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 part of the map does that count as? You know, so I can go through and see. You know, I I don't have the market complete, so you know, let me control F market. I spelled market by accident. I spelled it with Y. Yeah, it doesn't really. It's not sorted by that spot on the map. Okay. I want to say I know where the ones I'm missing are, and I believe they're as a kid. So it's time to be young again. And thankfully, three or four of these should be near warp spots. Or at least two of them, and then the two that I'm, I believe I'm missing here are just over here, so you know, it's kind of close to where I warped. Oh, okay, I did get that one. Well, shoot! That means that's not one of the five I'm missing. Which means I don't know where it could be. It's kind of funny how once you get over here, 
you know, you think, oh, I'm over the fence, I'm home free, but then you run behind the guards and they catch you. So you're, you're missing the step where you gotta, you gotta jump on the moat. I forgot this grotto even has a Sculptula in it. Oh, I need my bombs. It's a pretty remote gossip stone. They say that you may find something new in dungeons that you have already finished. Are you talking about Sculptula? Because I already got them. I'm pretty sure I completed all the other dungeons. You shut up. And you. And you as well, also. Okay, that completes the market, at least. So we're missing ones in Death Mountain, Concrete Village, and Zor's Domain. Yep. There it is. I do slingshot. That's faster. Use of aim. Now, the question is, does that complete Kakariko? It does. Okay. So then we're missing... I want to say two on Death Mountain and one in Zoe's Domain. We'll go check the one in Zoe's Domain last, because I'm not even sure if I haven't gotten it. And there's also no warp over there. <laughs> I never noticed the smile he has when he does that. No wonder Tim started saying, is this okay, mommy? Yep, there it is. Forgot to get it earlier. Okay, that's not the last one on Death Mountain. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know where it could be. Oh, it says an adult. Oh, I was going to try to walk out of here and use the warp in Goron City to Lost Woods and the Lost Woods to Zoe's Fountain. So I just have to use this warp, and we can revisit Saria, because she hasn't taken on her sagely duties yet. But, but she... she doesn't want to... there. Why do you want to hear my voice? Play Saria's song. You can talk to me anytime. Or Navi anytime. That's a Pona song, you dingus! It's funny. Saria's song kind of is like a Pona song flipped upside down. Link? This is Saria, can you hear me? I don't mind talking to you using the Ocarina's magic, but I'd really like to talk to you face to face. No, not again! B button! I just want to see what Navi has to say. Should probably just tell us to keep moving. Yeah, keep moving. It's too bad she doesn't remind you, like, hey, you know, you still need to do Ganon's castle. You know, that's that's the next thing to do in case you forgot. In case you took a long time away from this game and don't know what you have to do left. Just had to double check. There is no Sculptula there. There's a hornet's nest there, though. It's too bad NPCs don't react if you make bees appear. Yep, there's, there's one I'm missing. Zora's Domain complete. So now I just need... Yep. The one on Death Mountain. I'm gonna go the right way this time. <laughs> Bye, Magic Bean! Remember when I was here, like, ten minutes ago? And I decided to check out that grotto. And it didn't bother to come over here. Make sure I got everything over here. The 100th Skullchilla. There we go. Black backflip to our doom! Never mind, it didn't hurt that much. Let's go get our final reward. And here he is. Since you destroyed 100 spiders of the curse, the curse on me has broken. Been broken. Thank you. Here's a token of my appreciation. Please take it. A huge rupee. But, it's a huge rupee. Oh, hang on. 
It's a huge rupee every time you come to talk to him. So he will keep giving you a, a huge rupee. So infinite money, basically. Which is good if you haven't bought all the magic beans and you want to see what all the magic beans lead to. Or, you know, you just want to do something crazy with your money. Like buy a bunch of potions or something if you, you're crazy. Or you, know, you really like using bomb chew and you, you just want to keep buying them off the guy in the desert who I think... Pretty sure we'll keep giving you bomb chew. So there's your way for infinite bomb chew, basically. Or if there may, may, maybe are some mini games you, you get stuck on. But ultimately, not a very good reward for all 100 skulls because there's not really anything good to do with that money. <sighs> well, I guess on that note, it's time to end. Camera, would you stop getting behind Link? Just, just stay there. Stay there. Thanks for watching. Next time, we'll go track down those last three pieces of heart. See ya then. Bye. You know what Ganon's tower reminds me of? My huge pea hat! Which I've been growing in my backyard. That's it, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, your hammer's all big and stuff. Just like my huge pea hat! See, I got you again.